Welcome back to Arc Tutorials. This is Angular 16 entire CRUD tutorial series step by step guide. This will be 11 part series and following are the uh, episodes that I will be recording for you. It will cover everything that you need to learn and master Angular 16. In the first episode I will cover the introduction and I'll give you the demo of the application we are building. We'll do installation, we'll learn how to design using material design, we'll generate components, then start with the CRUD functionality. Finally, I'll give you an entire demo of the application plus the source code access. So as part of this particular series, you will be learning all of the Angular concepts in hands-on. We will learn Angular CLI, Angular material design, modules, components, standalone components, forms, both reactive as well as template driven forms, directives, services, routing, pipes, interpolation, two-way data binding, inter observables, RxJS methods, and we'll write some tests also at the end and much more. At the end of this series, I'm confident that you will be able to master Angular 16 itself. All right, so we will start with the introduction today and I'll give you the demo a little later. Angular is a popular open source front-end framework developed and maintained by Google. It's used for building dynamic single-page web applications and progressive web apps. Angular is built using TypeScript, which is a superset of JavaScript that adds static typing and other features. Angular follows component-based architecture, which means we will write Angular applications are structured as a collection of reusable components grouped under modules. So you can also say that Angular is modular based architecture. Then Angular also supports templates and data binding. Angular's templates are used to define the structure of the user interface. Data binding enables automatic synchronization of data between the component and the template. Directives. Directives are special markers on DOM elements that tells Angular to attach specific behavior to an element. Angular also supports and has a powerful dependency injection system, which means managing and creation and sharing of application components becomes much easy through services. Routing. Angular provides an inbuilt router module to create complex routes. That's what we'll be using in this series as well. Services. Services are used to organize and share business logic, data, or functionality across components. Angular also has an inbuilt lot of lifecycle hooks, which provides control over the component's behavior during its creation, updation, or even destruction. Angular offers forms and validation also through template driven forms and reactive forms. HTTP client. Angular has HTTP client module which simplifies making asynchronous HTTP request and handling responses. State management. While it is not a core feature, Angular works really well and tightly coupled with NGRX as well as RxJS for handling complex application states. Angular also supports internationalization and localization of applications, which means you can have Angular applications in your own native language. Finally, Angular encourages writing tests for writing our code and with the use of tools like Jasmine, Karma, or any other unit testing JavaScript framework. Last, Angular provides a powerful command line tool which helps us in generating components, services, pipes, modules, and much more, which makes it really easy and faster for us to develop the application. That's a high level introduction of Angular 16 to you. There are some more features like there is mobile support, which Angular provides through progressive web apps. There's also performance optimization, which means Angular has an inbuilt performance optimization features like lazy loading, ahead of time compilation, and change detection. Angular also has a large and active community, which means you have a lot of support, documentation, tutorials, and guides. 
Angular follows the semantic versioning and major minor patches. Angular team continuously releases the new features, bug fixes and patches to keep the framework up to date. There are a lot of job opportunities as well when you're working on Angular. All right, so that was all about the um, Angular introduction. I'm sure if you are here, that you would have some background of Angular. If not, I have a playlist on my channel that you can uh, go through to learn and master Angular as well. Coming to, to this series application, what we are building, we'll be building an admin um, portal for credit cards. This is more realistic uh, application that I want to build and not a regular recipe or just a table with some admin features. We will have entire credit card kind of a journey and try and put them into the functionality. We'll build a dashboard. We'll have the metrics that we will dynamically calculate. We will have a, a progressive table, responsive table, which will detail, which will have pagination as well, which will have edit, delete functionality. We can suppress, we can even sort the table data. We can select the values you can see here. We are selecting the values that we are capturing and we'll also make an API call for that. We will also do pagination here. We will also implement the add card, update, delete and search, right? We will start everything from scratch and we will keep building this application into so that you can actually put it in your resume. You can, I will give you the source code at the end of the series. So you have the entire source code. You can go through that. I hope you are excited. I hope um, you will learn from it. I hope you will enjoy this series. Please do subscribe to my channel. Please do like, share these videos so that it can reach maximum people and benefit. Please do not buy any course on Angular 16 CRUD. Uh, anywhere I am here to help you for free of cost as always I'll always welcome your doubts queries everything in the comment section and I will try my best to help you thank you so much for joining in this episode next episode we start coding we, by not actually coding we'll start doing the installation setup and all the things that are required for us to start coding thank you so much for joining I'm really excited about this series I'm sure you too are Thank you.